What's the eleventh term of this sequence? Whenever you're asked that question, you need to figure out if it's arithmetic or geometric. In this case, we go down by 1024 and then down by 512. Oh man, that's not the same. It's clearly not arithmetic. Actually, we're dividing by 2 and dividing by 2. That's a hint that it's geometric. A geometric sequence has a certain number either multiplied to give you the next term or divided to give the next term. And luckily for you, there's a formula for the value of a term in a geometric sequence. The value of the term is the first term, A, times this common ratio, which is how much you're multiplying it by to get to the next one, to the power of whatever term you want, minus 1. In this case, we want the 11th term. So let's use this formula. The formula again, Tn equals a r to the n minus 1 for a geometric sequence. I don't know the value of the 11th term. That's what I'm asked to find. t11 is what I will call that. My first term is 2048. My common ratio is 1 half because I'm multiplying by a half to get to the, to get to the next term in the sequence. I'm looking for the 11th term, and I have to subtract 1 because the formula says so. So, whip out the calculator. You get 2048 times 1 half to the power of, I'm going to put my exponent in brackets, 11 minus 1. Bam! Aha! Uh -huh, 2! <laughs> All right. So the 11th term, after all that work, turns out to be 2. Good for us. Again, the trick is using the formula for a geometric sequence. Best of luck.